church. Hey, what, what do you think you're doing? Get out of here, birds. All right, so about two days ago, I went and bought an abandoned storage lot. Basically, the person that originally owned it, they couldn't pay for it. So I ended up buying it from the city who took it over. So we're basically going to be going out there, cleaning it up today. I believe there's a few things out there. It does need to be mowed and stuff. So anyway, if you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you're new. Anyway, let's get into it. Okay, so today we have a pretty big job. That uh, lot that I ended up buying is pretty big. So I think we're going to be taking out the Kubota today. As well as we're going to need the Weed Whacker and the side-by-side. -side. I don't think we're going to need the John Deere Zero Turn today because this Kubota seems to do a pretty good job. Alright, I got the Weed Whacker loaded up on the trailer. I'm going to load up this Gator here real quick. And then I kind of want to bring the, uh, the other three-point hitch mower, but I'm not sure exactly if we're going to bring that yet. Uh, I know there is a pile of gravel there that we're going to have to clean up, so is the mower in here? Oh, it is. Okay. So we might come back for the skids here and uh, the mower to do some of the outside stuff, but uh, for now, I think this should work pretty good. Okay, so I think it is just at the end of this road. Uh, yep, there it is. Okay, nice. I haven't really got a chance to look at this too much other than online. It was kind of like a last minute auction there so yeah we gotta check this thing out here see what is all out here well we're definitely gonna have to take this for sale sign down for sure okay so which way does this open i think it opens this way so got the key here and there we go all right we're in so there's the pile of gravel over there that i was talking about these are just some abandoned storage containers here there's not much here other than the fact that we're gonna have to weed whack around them which will eventually get them out of here but not right now as well they did not show this in the picture uh okay awesome so a cool trailer all right all they showed was pictures of the wood so this has been abandoned here for a few months now that's why it's all overgrown and stuff so our job is just basically to come in here mow this all and then uh, we're probably going to take that trailer home for sure because we now own this uh we're going to probably grab the gravel as well so yeah it's a lot of work so uh yeah let's get going so other than the lot, we owned a little bit of the surrounding ground. Not too much, though. The property line is just at the start of those trees, I think, right there. It kind of just goes straight out the back. So that's kind of where that is. So we'll just unfold the trailer here real quick. There we go. And uh, we'll get all this stuff offloaded. Okay, so now that we're all offloaded here, we're just going to give this a quick mow. It should only take about 45 minutes to an hour or something. shouldn't take too long. And then we're going to go and weed whack all of this. That way, that's all nice and clean. And we'll have to go around everything, obviously. And then we'll come back out here with the skid steer and load that pile. Actually, hmm, maybe the excavator because uh, we could probably load that up with the skid steer. I'm just thinking we might want to grab the dump truck because that is a pretty big pile there. So I guess we'll see. All right. We'll just go this way. That way. Actually, yeah, I don't want a bunch of grass going up into the fence. So uh, we'll just mow this way instead. Not quite sure what those pots are for, but uh, they must be for something. Uh, as well as there's a bunch of barrels there, some old tires. There's a bunch of stuff that needs cleaned up here. So, yeah, we're going to be at this for quite a while. But that trailer, that is a stellar deal. I didn't know that was in there. So if we need to take a single lawnmower to a job, that works out pretty good because that thing is, like, perfect for a single lawnmower. Or we can just sell it. Either way works. So I'm thinking eventually my plan is just going to be to sell those containers as is. You can pretty much sell them for a pretty good price. They'll just get loaded up and get out of here. We'll just have to clean out the uh, barrels and the tires, of course. And then uh, we should be good to sell them. Man, this lawnmower is already getting pretty dirty. Oh, oh, stop, stop, stop. Got to turn this off here real quick. That gum is a rock. This is a big one. Okay, can we move this? Use the legs, not the back. Lift with your legs. All right, there we go. Nice. Okay. Well, at least we didn't hit that, so I don't even think we could have went over that. Oh, I don't have the mower turned on here. But I don't even think we could have went over that. That would have just stopped the mower entirely. All right. Last pass here, and then we've got to move this trailer quick. And I think I've got just a little bit left on the edges here. And then we should be good. I can't get too close, though, so we might have to grab the weed whacker. I think what is going to happen is we're going to have to grab the weed whacker and just go along the entire side of the fence. Might just make it a little easier. I'm just going to grab this uh, John Deere Gator here, and we're going to go move that trailer real quick. Probably load the rock on it. That way, that is out of the way. All right, just back up here real quick. And there we go. 
Okay. It would appear we have ramps, which is pretty awesome, actually. Walk this rock up here. There we go. Oh, so the ramps almost turned into side rails. That's awesome. That's a cool idea. I like that. All right, well, this trailer should come into pretty good use here. I think it's pretty awesome. So, yeah, that's a nice, it's a nice trailer for sure. We'll have to check to make sure everything else is working on it, and then uh, we'll have to see what we can do with it from there. All right, so I got the weed whipper here. We're just going to go around the fence here real quick and basically just weed whip around it, get it all nice and clean. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so we got that edge and that edge done around the fence. It's looking way better. We just got to do around these containers here real quick and then just the other side, and then uh, we should be good. I still need to take the lawnmower over there and uh, just clean up a little better around there. And then uh, it should be looking pretty good. Let's get around here in the back. What we couldn't get with the lawnmower. This thing actually does a pretty good job. I like it. All right, well, we got the containers cleaned around about as best as we can. Yeah, it's all good back there. Nice. All right, that's looking pretty good. So I'm going to jump back on the Kubota. Oh, if I get don't get stuck in here. There we go. All right, I'm going to jump back on the Kubota and go mow over by those wood piles. And I think after that, we're going to head back, grab the skid steer and the dump truck, and then uh, we'll get going on that gravel pile. All right, that's done in there, so we'll probably come back there with the weed whipper a little bit later, but uh, we're gonna take the truck back and we're gonna grab the equipment we need to get rid of that stinking gravel pile. Okay, well, you know what? There is no such thing as overkill, all right? We're just gonna get the job done. All right, we just get this thing backed off here. Yes, I did grab the excavator, but you know what? It's We wanted to get it done. We didn't wanna spend hours trying to do this, so I was just like, whatever. It's not too far of a drive and it just makes it a lot faster if we go and grab the excavator versus taking 20 million buckets with the uh, with the skid steer. See, what I really should get is like a smaller loader. That's what I really should get. Instead of trying to do a bunch of stuff with either the excavator or the skid steer. Because really just doing this takes a lot of time. All right, should only be a few more bucketfuls left. I think we'll only need about three truck loads and then uh, this should be cleaned up pretty good. Now my plan is to just put this back at the shop there where we have lots of storage for this because we might need more gravel in the future. I just totally dumped a bit of gravel out there. Oh well. Alright, truck is full. That pile is just about done. Probably, what, two and a half? Maybe one, one and a half more truckloads. We should be good. So I'm going to take this back here and then uh, we're going to offload it at the shop. See, now the thing is with having so many trailers, you literally got to move one every day so yeah we'll just get this one out of the way if i don't smash into it first there we go we'll just move this over here then we should have lots of room there we go we'll just get this here filled up all right there we go we got lots of gravel in there now a few more loads and we should be done so my plan for this is either just to take it rent it out as a storage facility or just basically make it a storage facility and just charge people to keep their stuff here I guess we'll see. But uh, anyway, I'll see you guys when this is done. All right, so we ended up getting all the gravel out of the way here. The excavator's loaded up. That's all done with, so we just got to quick go around here and mow this. Also, I got to go take the weed whacker and weed whack around that wood pile here real quick. So we'll get that done. Set the uh, deck height a little higher because it's hitting rocks. I don't know how grass grew under the rock pile, but uh, I guess that's just farm some for you. All right, there we go. I also got to go around the fence and weed whack. Dang. Got a lot more weed whacking to do. If it's just one job I really hate, it's it's weed whacking. I don't mind it, but it's just like, ugh, it's, it's not the greatest. Don't get me wrong, it is not the worst job to do on the farm, but it is, it is up there. I gotta move this truck now. Oh, actually, you know what, I should be good. I'll just weed whack behind it. Now I gotta load all this stuff back up and give it a wash once we get back. Okay, well that is looking a lot better. Now the thing is, I might actually need to get a loader because if I want to load that stuff up here... Can I lift this thing? Hello? I want to lift it. Alright, there we go. Yeah, as I was saying, might need to get a wheel loader so I can actually lift these pallets of wood because, yeah, the skid steer ain't going to cut it on that one. Anyway, um, can we drive this back or do I need to load it up? You know, if I load the lawnmower on the trailer, then we could just load it all right up and then it wouldn't need to take a second trip. Hold on. Wait a second. Is this lawnmower going to fit on here? Well, there's only one way to find out. All right, um, apparently we have a floating weed whacker, but time to see if this thing fits. The answer is yes, and it fits absolutely perfectly. Oh, that is like a perfect fit. 
Except maybe the ramps might interfere with that a little bit. Hold on. Okay, well, you know what? That's close enough. I'll think I'll take that as a Yeah, that that works. That works. I like that. Man, this is this is pretty cool actually, but the the thing is is the mower is literally bigger than the than the side by side, so I guess I guess that's kind of realistic. I, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to grab the uh, Ford and we're going to hook up the gooseneck. And we're just going to have to leave the weed whacker here because that is currently floating and stuck in the ground and I can't get it out. So, I don't know what to do there. All right, moment of truth. Will this fit? Or actually, can we get this thing up on the trailer? Are we going to be able to pull it on the trailer is the question. Should be able to. All right, give her, get her up there. Oh, it's struggling. It's struggling. And there we go. Okay. Well, you know what? If it works, it works. All right, well, technically, I think if you can fold that uh, side flap up, you might be able to fit it. I don't know. It, it's close enough. It's close enough. In in reality, you should be able to take those side ramps off, and you would be good. So I'm going to call that. I'm going to say it will fit. Anyway, we're all loaded up here, so I'm going to head back to the shop. So I'll see you guys when we get there. All right, here we are. We'll just park where we usually park, which is literally anywhere because we can because we have such a big yard. Anyway, guys, this is going to be the end of the video for today. If you did enjoy, smash that like button. And if, if you've been watching for a while and you're not subscribed or if you're brand new and you're not subscribed, consider subscribing if you do enjoy the content you do see here today or any other day. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one.